what kind of presentation tools do you want to use and, and do you know everything that there is available? The presentation tools that you use on a webinar are uh, pretty, you know, pretty varied. Um, most popular thing I think is, is a PowerPoint. Uh, that's what I see people using mostly. PowerPoints are great. Um, they're very, very visual. Um, you can you can have animations in them. Uh, you know you can have things happen, uh, things that appear, things that come in and off the page, that that move in and out. We're going to have a, a, a complete little uh, little unit on on PowerPoint. Uh, the other thing neat about PowerPoint is you can socialize them. So you can do that in a number of ways. You can go online and you can take a look at things happening online within your PowerPoint. You can also tweet and and engage on social media automatically by building in um, by building that, that that capacity in and so we'll see that in our powerpoint presentation um, there's another presentation called prezi that uh, that some people like it uh, it's a little bit more uh, snazzy i think it um you know it's a little more free flow and uh i don't know it's a little new age people like it it's very very engaging it's a lot of fun I don't really use it a lot. I've, I've used it a couple of times. Um, and, and if you want to go, you know, Google that, you'll probably find it quicker Googling it than, than, than waiting for me because I'm just not drawn to it terribly myself, but, but, but I've seen it done very, very well. Um, Keynote is a, is a great presentation. Keynote is something uh, that, that's, that's Mac-based. Uh, you can use PowerPoint on either the Mac or the PC. Okay, Keynote is, 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 a, is, a, is a tool that you can use on um, on the Mac and also on the iPad. Now I'm still a PC gal, so I still use my PC, and until it dies and 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 you know and I, and I can't bring it back to life, I will use that. My next computer will will be a Mac, I'm sure. Um, in the meantime, I'm waiting for delivery of an iPad, and uh, and I know that there's a Keynote uh, application on the I iPad. If that is something that is is something I can use uh, for a webinar. I will create a training about it. But Keynote is is very very good. Um, I know a lot of people who are Mac aholics like it a lot more than PowerPoint. I've seen some brilliant presentations on Keynote. Definitely worth looking at. Uh, definitely worth doing. Uh, mind mapping. That's what I'm doing right now. I I really enjoy mind mapping. I'll do a separate. Um, separate little piece on that. You can prepare mind maps in advance or, and you can also create them on the fly. Um, I love mind maps. It's a really, really good way for me to organize my thinking. And as I'm organizing my thinking, I can create a, uh, create a mind map that I can use in a presentation like right now. This is very interesting. I'm using uh, connect.mindjet.com right now because I want to use as many free tools as I can and stuff that keeps the cost down. And every now and then, uh, the uh, you know the this the, the system saves whatever I'm working on it does that automatically and that's what happens when those little twirly birds uh, come on the screen and it, and it gets gray so that that's what that is um, the other way of presenting is just by going live um, by going live online in and going to websites uh, you know surfing the web uh, going to a URL uh, you know looking at websites and engaging uh, there is one way that I forgot hold on and that is by just working with a whiteboard. Uh, some uh, webinar platforms have built-in whiteboards with all kind of drawing tools and other other great stuff. Um, you can also create your own whiteboard. And now that I'm thinking about it, what I'll do is I'll make a uh, a little video that shows how you can create a whiteboard because maybe you want to be thinking about something uh, and and sharing some thoughts from other people and just you know creating something as you go along. So you can create your own whiteboard and uh, and I'll create a little video about 